What up, what up, what up? Unbreakable Kicks Army, man, look. I'm feeling good about these army right here, man. And I don't want y'all to sleep on these. And I'm going to talk to y'all about that in a second. But y'all already know what's going down. Wait, first off, let's talk about JD Sport exclusive access today. I seen that I had exclusive access on the Air Jordan 1 UNC toes via JD Sport exclusive access. But when I tried to get in, of course, I was in the queue. And by the time I got out of the queue, everything was gone. So... Comment down below and let me know if you were successful with getting through on JD Sport exclusive access today. I feel like that's about it for the Air Jordan 1 UNC toes. Tomorrow, you find out the results from FLX. And honestly, I got to remember to do that, y'all. It's been so long since we had some good releases to actually put on for FLX or exclusive access or in-store this that your boy didn't forget about a lot of that stuff. I want to say DTLR raffle ends tonight. And I mean, the shoes are still going a little bit over retail, y'all. So still make sure you do your due diligence because I still feel like them joints are still going to sell out. It's a popular colorway. It's a dope Air Jordan 1. But Air Jordan 1 highs is not the move no more. It's just not. But, but if you guys still wind up taking L's leading up to Saturday Army, y'all already know. Got the whatnot this Saturday. Giving away three pairs of the Air Jordan 1 UNC toes. I got some Palomino 3s. I seen those prices is slowly starting to creep back up. Those actually drop on the 29th. I want to say I got one or two pairs of Air Jordan 5 Burgundies that I'm going to throw in there. 11 and a half and a 13. I might throw that Air Jordan 1 Palomino 8 and a half on there too. So just make sure y'all click the link to bookmark. And also if you are new over there and whatnot, make sure you create your account. So that way you get $15 off your first purchase. Now, Army, I want to go ahead and talk about these because I don't even really think it's a coincidence that Jordan Brand wound up pushing a date back on these a week. I actually think it was a smart thing to do because I know, I don't want to say for a fact because the sneaker community be in shambles sometimes, but Army, I got a good feeling that these Air Jordan 1 black toe lows, these joints is going to move. Now, number one reason, it's an OG colorway. And y'all already know I'm OG over anything and just the materials that they use on these you got like that air jordan one mystic blue type leather on these jordan brand really did their thing with these air jordan one black toe low and also army i think a lot of people may sleep on these because they're gonna grab the air jordan one unc toes but i think it's gonna be a huge mistake especially if you like them now if you don't like air jordan one lows then you know you can cover your ears up for a little bit but it took me some time to love and respect the retro one low. I mean, y'all know I'm fond to the OG colorways, and after I beat these Air Jordan 1 Royal Lows to the ground, then I went to look for the Air Jordan 1 Chicago Lows. Then I went to look for the Air Jordan 1 Bread Lows. Now, these joints, when they came out 2015, 2016, as far as the Lows, they was instantly in the outlet. All of these Air Jordan 1 OG Lows were in the outlets years ago. But again, I just feel like the Air Jordan 1 OG colorways is the move. I might honestly be on to something with that army because if you think about it, we don't get as many Air Jordan 1 OG highs as we did years ago. I remember, I think it was like 2017, 2018, we got 40 different colorways in the Retro 1. Now we've been getting way more Retro 1 lows, and the thing is, the lows been moving better than the OG high. Even if you was to go look at some Air Jordan 1 low OG prices, the first one that popped up was these Jordan 1 low OG Chinese New Year's. Now I know these joints ain't dropped everywhere, but these joints is busting like lowest ass is $6.99. Chicago 1 low in a size 11. Highest bid is 621. Lowest ax is two bands. Now, I highly doubt somebody gonna pay two bands. And also, Army, I'm not saying like, yeah, these gonna sell out and it's gonna be a full $500 shoe. I'm not saying that. But the price of these will eventually go up. And like myself, you don't wanna be the person that's going back years trying to grab a shoe when you could've got it for retail and now them joints is bust. Again, that's why I think Jordan Brand pushed this release date back because let's be honest, I feel like more people will probably go for the Air Jordan 1 Black Toe Lows over the Air Jordan 1 UNC Toes because originally they were supposed to be dropping around six days apart. UNC Toes drop on the 22nd and these were originally supposed to drop on the 26th. Even these Air Jordan 1 Royal Lows from 2015 is bust. 300 highest bid. So I do feel like these are gonna follow that OG pricing going up and the leather is soft on these. Like the leather on these to me is better than the leather on the 2015 pair. 2013 through 2015 time with Air Jordan with the leather 
wasn't the best, especially on retro ones. Now, I'm not saying that this is the best leather, but it is a softer grade of leather than what we had on the 2015 and the 2016 pair. And on top of that, I feel like Jordan brand is catering to more collabs with the retro one because we will be getting an Air Jordan 1 trophy room low pretty soon. And we've seen like the Soul Fly lows, Chinese New Year lows. So it feel like Jordan Brand is starting to wrap around the Retro One low. Now I thought like, man, why is Jordan Brand doing this? We gotta remember, a couple years ago, Dunks was the way. I know Jordan Brand had a shoes lined up at least a year or two in advance. They started seeing how hype and crazy people were going with the Nike Dunks. I feel like that was a reason for Jordan Brand to be like, you know what, let's start putting out these Air Jordan One lows. Cause let's be honest, they look just like Dunk lows. And on top of that, the Dunk highs wasn't really moving like that. And now the Air Jordan 1 highs is not as desirable. I cannot say that the Air Jordan 1 low is more desirable than the Retro 1. But if y'all following my pattern and the things that I'm seeing with Jordan brand and Nike, how it went from the Air Jordan 1 high being a hot commodity to now the Air Jordan 1 low, I wouldn't really say the Dunk highs was really busting like that. But we still know, even though Dunk lows ain't busting like they was two, three years ago, they still moving and they still selling out at a consistent pace. So again, Army, if y'all do want the Air Jordan 1 Black Toes, don't sleep. Now, I'm not sure if Nike gonna do exclusive access or anything like that for these, like they deal with more of the bigger releases for the Air Jordan 1s. Now, I'm gonna be honest, Army, this is just my personal opinion. If I had to pick between these or the UNC Toes, I'm gonna go with these because Jordan Brand last year dropped the UNC Lows and they very similar to those. And just this, y'all know, I'm OG over anything, man. And these joints to me is just mad clean. So, Army, I'm gonna leave y'all with this. Air Jordan 1 Black Toe Lows. Again, if you want them, if you like the colorway, don't sleep on them, grab them. Because I can guarantee, eventually, the price on these joints will go up. And last but not least, Army, I want to go ahead and talk about the Air Jordan 2 Mellow Joints. The Stay Mellow PEs that Jordan Brand gifted Mellow for retiring from the NBA. If you've been watching me for years, Army, y'all know that Melo was my number one player in the NBA when he was playing. I was always Team Melo over Team Braun. And to see the special Air Jordan 2 PE pack that Jordan Brand gifted Melo, man, that's dope. Like, it's basically these, but you got the gold hits on it. You got like a quilted sock liner. Now, this is a dope pack, but like, if I was to ever get my hands on these, Army, and then they gave us twos. Like, a lot of people not fond of the tools, but this colorway is smacking. This pair right here, of course, pays homage to Melo when he was playing with the Denver Nuggets. And then, of course, we know we got the black, blue, and orange pair to represent when he was playing with the New York Knicks. And again, y'all, these joints is just mad clean, y'all. Again, you got the gold hits on these joints. Then they say the gold hits celebrate his three Olympic rings. Of course, again, we got the white and baby blue pair for the Denver Nuggets. And then a black pair for the New York Knicks, man. Shout out to Jordan Brand for gifting Melo these because these joints right here is nasty. The so, Army, comment down in the comment section below and let me know how y'all feel about the Air Jordan 2 that Jordan Brand gifted my boy Melo. Also, again, y'all, don't sleep on the Air Jordan 1 Black Toes if you do want them. I'm not saying it's going to be a hard cop. But I will say that once some joints sell out, the price on them is going to slowly start to go up. And again, like we seen the price of the OGs from 2015, 2016 as far as the low. Yeah, Army, I love you guys. I appreciate y'all. And none of them that you got your boy Unbreakable. You got the Unbreakable Vault. Unbreakable Army stand strong. Like always, most importantly, hug your loved ones. And of course, remain humble. And we out. I hit Unbreakable for the uses. He the plug, call him when I need him. He's old stuff, but he get a music. He was old, him first season. The most beefy, looking like two laps. Two laps, cause your ass taking nails.